You know, when it comes to retcons in board games and video games, it's absolutely pathetic how far companies are going just to think that they're doing some good in the world by changing the gender or the color that the person or persons may be. Today we're talking about the Wizards of the Coast change to the 1983 Dungeons and Dragons Red Box of the Red Warrior. Now before I fully get into the article, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button to come back to this channel again. I don't talk every day about Dungeons and Dragons and Wizards of the Coast anymore. I, I, I used to a very, very long time ago. I do have a back catalog of videos you can take a look at. But this one in particular caught my eye and I, you know what, we've got to take a real close, close look at it. Well, let's start off with Wargamer because they have a pretty interesting article on this situation. WizKids minis reveal the truth about the 1980s D&D character. Dungeons and Dragons is getting a 50th edition release, which they've already gone back and retconned some stuff called Gary Gygax racist and many other names under the sun. But on top of that, now they're changing the, uh, the, the warrior that is on the cover. Wizards is creating a miniature that reveals new information about the oldest D&D characters, though you might even have thought of them as a character before. It's from the warrior of the front cover of the 1983 red box, only ever glimpsed from behind, seen facing off against a powerful red dragon. Uh, this is our first proper look at this at the character, according to WizKids interpretation. It is a girl. What? What? As you can see right below me, this was released in 2023 as a dude with the mustache. Well, I guess it could identify as a girl. I guess that's the way things are. This has already come out and it's already been uh, put to bed by the artist that did the rendering himself. Uh, this D&D Mini is one of a huge number of models found in WizKids upcoming D&D Icons of the Realm 50th Anniversary Booster Boxes celebrating the 50th birthday. Well, now they're ruining the birthday by retconning it. Uh, the collection has a bunch of minis to celebrate classic art from the city series, like a paladin and a fiend from AD&D front cover. It also has tons both modern and classic interpretations of recognizable D&D monsters. So, uh, since the character who, if we had to guess at their class, is probably a D&D barbarian. Barbarians I thought weren't added until like 85. I didn't think that they were part of the uh, part of this thing originally from 83. Uh, or a 5th edition fighter. 5th edition fighter. Wargamer. We're talking first edition, not fifth edition. That, I, I'm sorry, that, that, I, I think that's a typo. Have never been seen from the front before. The true identity has always been unknown. As you can see, I'm gonna skip ahead. As you can see, the behind the model is a perfect match for the original artwork by Larry Elmore. I'm put to mind the original Metroid game. Apparently, the, the, the original Metroid game inspired Dungeons and Dragons now by, by Wargamer. I'm sorry, Wargamer, you got this completely off base. So the Super 7 model goes for about 20 bucks on eBay if you want to pick that up of the original model from 2023. It's not that old. This is also, but this is also being covered by Bounding into Comics. Wizards of the Coast purposely and clearly Gender Swap's warrior feature on Dungeons & Dragons red box cover art. Uh, in making yet another revision to long-established lore of the popular tabletop RPG system, Wizards of the Coast has officially revealed that despite appearances, the warrior featured on the cover of the 83 Dungeons & Dragons red box is not a man, but actually a woman. If you scroll down here in the article, you have Larry Elmore talking about this situation, how it's actually, no, no, I recently was asked a question about ancient red painting. I did the cover of the red box condition. Did you paint a male or female? It's a man. 
Gary didn't know what he wanted. All he wanted was something simple that would jump out at, at you. He wanted a male warrior. If it was a woman, you would know it for I am pretty famous for painting women. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And back in that time, there was like model train sets that they tried to turn around and uh, paint a different color to appeal to more girls than boys. And the set failed to sell. And that's something they learned back in the days when this was created. So definitely back in the days when this was created, the idea that it was female wouldn't have been the case. Now, if you do look at some of the other art that Larry Elmore has done, uh, in the last few years here, we've gotten to know that he actually had a alternate version of this art. Let's see if I can get this better on screen for you. Maybe not. I will move this over. I'm going to cut things off. Um, yeah, it's a full rendition, and you can see the the secondary alternate art that he had for this. He had his female wizard, male warrior, and male thief. So, from the artist's own mouth, this is a male. From Super 7, this I'm sure this figure came out last year in 2023. It's always been a male, and... I'm guessing in the recent controversy that we're seeing with Warhammer, they went, hey, let's, let's look at that. Let's let's try and do that. Let's jump on board the, the DEI train and completely gender change the gender of the original artwork that's there against the wishes of the original creator, against the wishes of the original uh, illustrator in this case. It's absolutely pathetic, and Wizards of the Coast should be hanging their head in shame. I'm sorry, changing lore like this for no good reason, none. There's no good reason to change it up like this. It's absolutely pathetic. Well, back when Dungeons & Dragons was originally created, it wasn't really so much that it was made for women or men at, at all. It was a game system. He was a mathematician that did a random thing with numbers that actually made sense and created this entire world that we now play and a lot of people cherish today. But, for Wizards of the Coast to turn around and say, no, 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 everything is, everything's not what it seems. We're just going to say this is a, a female as the warrior just to please the shareholders or please some sort of appeal, some virtueness in the system to say it's always been this way. No, it never was. It never will be. It was originally created by the artist that does not draw men or and women the same he draws them very much differently because he, that's his art style you can see it's very classically very classically it was a male in that case anyway i'm your pocket name phoenix in the shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day and i will see you again very soon <laughs>